Hey guys, what is up? This is Mr. A. Krizzy here. And in tonight's movie review, I'm going to be doing a movie review on this new movie, which, you know, I, I, I just I actually just got back from seeing a Thursday early screening preview to this movie. And technically it comes out tomorrow. So I went and saw this movie early by myself at, at my local Fox Gold Coast movie theater here in Ocean City, Maryland. And I'm back here at my, at my beach condo to review this film. And this review is on The Crow. Yep, this, this, is, this is the remake to The Crow of the same name of the 1994 film with Brandon Lee. Yeah. So, in the remake, the, this movie stars Bill Skarsgård as he plays Eric Draven. So, in case if you don't know the story behind The Crow, the, the remake goes like this. Soulmates Eric Draven and, and Shelley Webster are brutally murdered when, when the demons of her dark past catch up with, with them. Given the chance to save his true to, to save his true love by sacrificing himself, Eric Draven returns from, to, 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 see, to seek bloody revenge against the, the killers, tra tra traversing the, the world, traversing the worlds of the living and, and the dead to put the wrong things right. So, it's kind of like the original Crow, but 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 with some differences, like with, with different music genres playing it rather than rock and roll, like in the original. It act, this movie actually has different music playing, different music playing in the background, and of course, like, and, and of course, and of course, mo most of the fight fight action sequences are more bloody compared to the first one. Yeah. So, so in case if you haven't seen my last video where I reviewed the original Crow, I I gotta say the original Crow is is definitely one of the best superhero movies of all time with Brandon Lee, and you know Brandon Lee's performance as as Eric Draven is awesome. And, and, it, and it was also nice then to, to dedicate the original crow to Brandon Lee, who who sadly, who unfortunately passed away and was killed during during work on the on the original film. And then when when I heard that there was going to be a remake to the original crow, I, like I said, I watched the original crow first before the remake just came out. So so after seeing the remake. This honestly wasn't really a bad movie in my opinion. I mean, so some people were, were kind of divisive on, on the film as far as as far as I'm hearing, because some people weren't really that interested in checking out the remake. But for me, I, I thought it was pretty good in my opinion. It, it was decent in some ways. But of course, you know this this remake's not not perfect. That's for sure, because the original Crow is always the best one. And. And I gotta say, Rupert Sanders, who directs this movie, I, 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 at least he tried, of course. I can see how, how his direction went well, like, in some ways. Well, some, well, some of the fight scenes, including, including this one, which I, which I thought was the most entertaining part of the movie, when, like, there, there, there's this, like, this little fight scene, this little bloody fight scene that occurs at an opera. Which, which I thought was the most, was the most entertaining and the most glorious fight scene in all, in all of this remake. But I'm I'm not gonna spoil the gores here and there, cause you know just just in case if some of you guys care about seeing the remake, but yeah whatever. And and I gotta say when it comes to the performances, the performances you hear I, I I thought weren't too bad compared to to the to the original movie. I I thought that the performances were fine enough because the actors at least tried. And Bill Skarsgård, who plays Eric Draven in the remake, I, I always love Bill Skarsgård. I always think he's, he's an awesome and amazing actor who played Pennywise from It and It Chapter 2. I also really liked him in Barbarian as Keith. And I also liked him as the villain in, in the last John Wick movie. And yeah, some, some fight scenes in this movie kind of does feel a little bit like John Wick a little bit. Only it's Bill Skarsgård playing the hero, not the villain. Oh yeah, and as for Bill Skarsgård, I also, I also, I also liked him in Boy Kills World as well, which I think is a very underrated, awesome movie in my opinion. But yeah, Bill Skarsgård's performance as Eric Draven, he's no Brandon Lee, but he did a he did a solid enough job as Eric in this movie. And. As for the other performances, like FKA Twigs, who who plays um who plays Eric, who plays um Eric Draven's like love interest, like she, I thought she she did good in the film. And and I think when it comes to the visual effects that occur in this movie, I think the the visual effects kind of almost kind of almost look identical to to the visual effects that were used in Madam Web, 
and which yeah, I can still see why Matt, Matt that, that that could that, and I can see why that's one flaw that that people have with Matt with Madam Web. But but here in the in the Crow remake, I I thought was pretty tolerable enough because sometimes when it comes to visual effects, they, they they can be done right and edited right while at the same time not much. And as for, as for the soundtrack in this movie, the soundtrack I will say it's 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 not really as good as good as the original Crow soundtrack, because it's not really like rock and roll music compared to to the original, compared to the original Crow. Because because this this version this remake of the Crow actually has like different different genres of music like hip hop or like you know like action music, yeah. And and, so, and and there are some times where where this remake kind of doesn't even feel a feel feel like a superhero movie, because it because 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 like I said, most so some of the fight scenes kind of some of the bloody fight scenes kind of almost reminded me of John Wick a little bit, like a, as if it's trying to be like one of those John Wick wannabes. But yeah, so I can't really tell you too much about about the remake to the Crow since that just in case if some of you guys out there are interested in seeing it for opinion purposes, just to show your just to share your thoughts and opinions on it. So overall, the Crow wasn't wasn't really a bad remake in my opinion. I thought it was decent. I kind of liked it, and I'm gonna give the the Crow remake three and a half out of five stars. If you've never seen the original Crow and 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 if, and if you're interested in checking out the remake. Then I say just I say just stick with checking out the original Crow and beforehand and see and see what you think if you're if, if you want to see the remake or not. And yeah, I got my Crow shirt on again because you guys already noticed this in like in my original Crow review. Yeah. And I also got four previews in front of in front of this movie since I saw it at Fox Gold Coast. I I got four previews. I got the I got the twenty fifth anniversary re release of the Matrix. I got Speak No Evil, Francis Ford Coppola's Megalopolis, and Joker Two. I am excited to see Joker Two. As for as for Me Megalopolis though, I'm not sure if I'll see it because I haven't really seen much of Francis Ford Coppola's films. Not even Apocalypse Now, as well as the Godfather movies, which. I know a lot of people love the Godfather films, but they but they have super long run times. I don't even I'm I'm not even ready to check them out yet. But I'll see what I can do. See if I feel comfortable enough. And plus, Megalopolis also comes out the same exact day as The Wild Robot, which I'm I'm more excited to see The Wild Robot, but that but but that was not one of the previews I got to this movie. Considering the fact that yeah, that this is like a because considering the fact this remake is is definitely can kind of does feel like an R-rated film a little bit, because it kind of doesn't because it it kind of doesn't really feel anything like a PG thirteen rated film. Because I gotta say this was definitely R-rated for a reason. But yeah, The Crow it it's not a bad remake in my opinion. It's probably worth a one time watch, and and I'd say just stick with the original Crow with Brandon Lee. All right, guys, so. That's going to be it for my movie review on The Crow Remake. And that's going to be it for this video. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And as always, thanks for watching. And until next time, this is Mr. A. Crazy saying goodbye, everybody. And that's about it.